Welcome to Channel to Chaos. Today I'm going to show you how to copy one string into another string using a custom function. Basically a function that you create. Now, a few things that you should know for this tutorial. Void, okay, there's something called void. It's a written type, okay, like integers and such. So this particular written type has a feature that it doesn't return a value, okay? Integers, in this case, returns a particular value. If you multiply two numbers, you, you basically pass a result. You return a particular value, right? Void, in this case, doesn't return any value. So that is why we use void. And now, the next thing that you should know for this particular tutorial is the variable length. Let's say I've got a string, right, over here. Okay, string which I declare of 20. Okay, I've got obviously I have to declare character. Okay, something that's obvious. I have up to 20 characters that I can put, right? But what if I don't know how many characters I want? I can leave this blank. It would work just fine. It would just use as many you insert. Okay, it wouldn't consume much more space. It would just use as many as you need. Automatically, it would detect how much you need, fix your needs, and put it over there. Okay, so if you leave it blank, it is possible. You can still do it. Okay, this is known as a variable length one. And if you put a particular value in it, that's a fixed length because you cannot change that value. Okay? That's something that you should know for this tutorial. Now getting to the main purpose of this tutorial, I've, I'm what I'm going to do is pass two strings on the main, and in the function, I will copy the second string into the first string. Okay? So I'm going to declare two strings, string two, in this case, I'm going to give it a fixed length. I'm, I'm going to show you the variable length in a minute. And string 1. Okay. String 1 giving it a, a fixed size. I'm going to say 20. Alright. Now I'm going to accept these strings. Okay. Using a scanner statement. And pass it to the custom function. So printf. Okay. Enter string. And then the scanf percent s obviously since it's string comma and percent of str sorry string one semicolon I'm gonna copy the same statement over here okay paste it over here right here and change this to second so we can verify that this is a second string and and percent of string two so what I've done over here except it to strings that's all I have done now going to our function, I'm going to declare this particular function globally with the written type void since I don't want to return any value void, I'm going to name the function string reverse ok, rev just for the shortcut and I'm going to pass two strings in this case, ok, so character str of 1 you cannot have the same name as that, ok just give it a different name so you will understand brackets but no value in it variable length okay characters str of 2 with no value in them okay it's a variable length now there's a reason I've chosen variable length over here I've chosen variable length over here because the thing is I don't know how much I'm gonna pass from here right it can be 30 it can be 40 it's dependent on me so I'm not gonna give it a fixed length if I give it a fixed length it would give me probably an error if I overpass this particular value so it is really recommended giving a variable length to your functions okay if you're passing a particular string so do keep that in mind it's a really nice tip so let's say we want to copy the value of the string 2 into the string 1 it's as simple as saying str of 1 is equal to str of 2 and the semicolon it's just going to basically copy this string into this now I cannot return a value since it's a void I'm just going to display it. Sorry, not the C out. I'm just confusing with the C++. Printf, okay. I'm going to print the string 1. Okay, percent %s, comma, okay, and percent of str1. Now that I have written the function, I'm just going to call it string reverse, okay. Pass the strings to it, which is a string 1, comma, string okay both of these strings passed put in this semicolon and I think so we are done over here not the ampersand again I always forget that you don't use ampersand in printf okay 
Now we should run the program and there you go, it runs at the minute. So it says enter the string. I'm gonna enter Google. Okay? Then it says enter the second string. I'm gonna enter Yahoo. Now the thing is I have entered Yahoo as a second string. If I press enter it would print Yahoo. Okay? But the thing is I have printed the string one. So basically it has copied whatever was in the string two, which we accepted from here, and it copied into the string one by using the custom function that we created over here. So again I'm gonna do a small recap. Okay, starting with the main as usual. Character string one and string two, okay. Declared both of these strings over here. Then what I've done is accepted both of these strings. Okay? So I accept both of these strings so the user can enter any string that he wants. In this case I entered Google and Yahoo respectively. Then I went up over here first. I didn't declare this first. I declared this. Then I just created a function with the written type void since I don't want to return any value, right? Then I've typed in string reverse. I've given it any you can give it absolutely any name. You can give it reverse, string reverse, unless it's not a keyword, it just works. Then I have passed it two strings. You can name it absolutely anything. You can name it str, string, string one, string two, unless it's not the same like this one. You can put in any name as you want. You can even put a fixed length, but again, it is recommended to put a variable length over here. Then what I've done is just copied whatever the value is in string two into the string one and printed that string. And what I've done over here, I've just called the function. Now, I mentioned this in the very first tutorial that this particular function, the main function, gets called by the operating system. So if I don't include this particular string, uh, sorry, this particular function over here, it wouldn't go over here. It would just leave this because the only thing that the operating system search for is the main function. It doesn't care that this is written on the top. It's just not important. It always searches for the main and that is what it executes. And if it finds something like this and it knows it's not it's in library, so it's going to check around the program. Is there a function called string rev? So it detects, yes, there is. So it would execute this one. It's that simple. That is what the functions are for. So anyway, this is me, Chair of the Chaos. I hope you like this video. Rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much.